So last week we discussed something that made me really angry. And if you have not seen that video yet, go right here and watch that first because today's video is the conclusion, is part two of that video. Also, hang around at the end for a link for five minutes of meditation. So here I am on this sunny summer morning at this shaded botanical garden for two reasons. One, to resolve what I'm going to do regarding this week's video, and two, to seek answers as to how to better let go of internal anger. I decided to create this video, that takes care of number one, but you know what else? More significantly, sitting in that chair, right in front of me the whole time, I was reminded of an invaluable instruction regarding internal anger. You want to know what it is? And now the conclusion. So what was this internal frustration keeping me from seeing? Well... So as I sat and decelerated my thoughts to still my mind, I became progressively aware of the works of an awesome God made by his eternal hand. I considered the words of David, father of King Solomon, and a man after God's own heart. Now, because King David knew enemies were actively pursuing him, he'd meditate on the things that God had done and reflect on what God's hands had created. Also, when David couldn't feel God's compassion or find his mercy, when he couldn't feel God's presence, he would meditate on God's handiwork. This former king of Israel's words spoke to me in this moment because he adopted the practice of meditation as a way to redirect during life's struggles, disruptions, and external challenges. He so eloquently penned, Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam and the mountains quake with their surging, my phone rebirth was a disruption, an external challenge, and I needed to redirect. Where did David redirect? We get the answer in the form of his recollection of God's word. Be still and know that I am God. And that's a good recollection for me. You, my friend, might ask yourself when you feel someone actively working against you or you're unable to feel God's compassion or his mercy, his presence, or when disruptive challenges of life happen do you meditate on God's words? Do you appreciate God's works? Do you talk to him through prayer? Do you ponder his principles? Do you take the time to still yourself, breathe, reflect, and to know that he is God? So after a short time of meditation, journaling, and prayer, my once very frustrating disruption shrank into a mild annoyance with a simple solution, this video. And it was a powerful reminder to me of the importance of meditation in frustration.